With the Lord of the Rings TV series officially signed on by Amazon for their Amazon Prime TV network, it's important to keep up to date on what to expect with it. Here are five things you didn't know about the new Lord of the Rings series. 1. It is a prequel. Truthfully, if you didn't know this little tidbit of information, then you probably haven't done much research, but Amazon has confirmed that it is indeed a prequel and that it will have more than one season, so good or bad, there will at least be a lot to watch for all of us to enjoy. 2. The Tolkien Estate is involved this time with the making of the show. This means that the show should follow more closely to the information in the books, as opposed to the movie series by Peter Jackson, which the Tolkien Estate was not incredibly happy with. Maybe they can do better with themselves. Maybe not. Only time will tell. 3. There's a 60 to 80 year gap between The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring, depending on if the series follows closer to the book or closer to the movies. The movies condense the timeline a bit to make it easier to digest for the watchers. It's a toss up on which timeline they'll follow, and we'll have to keep our ears open to find out more. 4. Gandalf did not know that Bilbo had the true Ring of Power. He thought that Bilbo had found a lesser magical ring, as these were plenty as the elves knew how to create them. They were taught by the evil lord Sauron himself, who disguised himself as Anatar, an ally to the elves. It wasn't until Gandalf noticed Bilbo's lack of aging through interrogating Gollum that he learned that the ring was the one true ring of power. Last but not least, number 5. It could deal with a lot more elfy business. At the beginning of the Fellowship of the Ring, the first elves you see are leaving Middle-earth for Valinor, the quasi-heaven place that's cryptically described. Since this is taking place before these events, a lot more elf magic and fighting could be seen. This means Galadriel, Elrond, Arwen, Celeborn, and more could be seen and easily replaced by new actors as they played more secondary roles in the original movies. And as a bonus, to keep fans watching, you may get to see some more romance and drama that were not in the original series, and depending on the rating of the show, I wouldn't doubt they'd be very graphic about it. And another bonus. The series will almost certainly add some diversity to the hero cast this time around, as the original movie series lacked any real heroines or people of color. Now all that's left to do is wait and see what new details emerge, like which actors sign onto the show, where will it be filmed, and what characters the series will focus on. Maybe dragons can make a return for the series. Sure, that doesn't seem too canon, but some type of giant monster would certainly be cool to see, and mythological creatures are most of what makes Tolkien's world so wonderful to begin with. Alright folks, we're doing a gift card giveaway on this channel. We're giving away Android gift cards, iTunes gift cards, and Amazon gift cards. All you gotta do to enter the giveaway is like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell button to turn notifications on, and comment your opinion on the Lord of the Rings TV show in the comments below.